guys uh, welcome to my channel today we will solve a problem solving through programming in c v6 uh, assignment okay so in the first question it says that which of the following is correct uh, statement uh, to access fifth element in a array a r of size 50 so it already uh, tell us that uh, the size of the array is 50 so to access the fifth element so let's first draw it so this is the array let's take this is the array okay and dot 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 okay so this is uh, a0 this is a1 this is a2 and goes on okay in this way so to access the fifth element in an array we have to write a r r 4 because a 0 indicates the first element of the array a 1 indicates the second element of the array a 2 indicates the third element of the array so uh, this is goes on uh, in this way okay so to access the fifth element we have to write a r r 4 this is the fifth element okay like uh, the index of the first element is 0 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 5 this is the fifth element so and it is uh, written as uh, a4 okay so option b is correct in the second question it says that which statement is correct an index or subscript in array is a positive integer it is always true so option a is correct because uh, if we draw our array in c programming the index uh, or subscript uh, in array is always positive integer so it starts from 0 1 2 3 and goes on okay so it is written as a0 a1 it to like that okay so option a is correct in question number three it says that what is the output of c program int a3 10 12 14 so this is the array a which contains three elements okay that is 10 12 and 14 this is a0 this is a1 this is a2 in the next line it says that a1 equals to 20 so now the new value of a1 is 20 okay and in the next line it says that int i is equal to 0 then uh, then a while loop created and uh, print the element of this array so the element of this array will be 10 20 and 14 okay so option b is correct option b is correct in question number four it says that an integer array an integer takes two bytes of memory okay two bytes of memory of size 15 is declared in a c program memory allocation of the first byte of the array is 2000 what will be the location of the 13th element of the array so let's draw the array okay this is the array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay 13th element of the array 13 okay so this is 2000 okay this is let's take this is a0 this is a1 this is a2 and dot 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 goes on okay so it says that an uh, integer take uh, two bytes of memory okay and the array size is 15 so the total size of the array is 15 into 2 that is 30 okay the memory uh, location of the first byte of the array is 2000 what will be the location of the 13th element of the array okay so a12 is the 13th element of the array because it start from 0 the 13th element will be a12 okay so this is the 13th element okay 
so the memory location of the 13th element of the array will be 12 into 2 24 so 2000 plus 24 that is 2024 in question number 5 it says that to compare two arrays we can uh, do it uh, by using option number a that is comparison operator directly on uh, arrays so option number a is correct in question number 6 uh, it says that how many a will be printed when the following code is executed so it says the int i is equal to 0 car c equals to a while i less than 5 so this uh, while loop will execute uh, total uh, 5 times because zero, for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 this while loop will execute and uh, it always print a okay and uh, after ex uh, exiting uh, from this while loop this print uh, a also execute so how many a will be printed so total 6 a will be printed so 6 is correct answer in question number 7 it says that what is the output of the following C program so int a r r 2 1 2 3 4 5 so this is a array the size of the array is uh, 2 so a r r 0 and this is a r r 1 so um, uh, that will contain only 1 and 2 3 4 5 will not content in this array because the size of the array is 2 so we want to access the arr3 do not access uh, arr3 because the size of the array is uh, 2 so uh, uh, it will uh, show the uh, garbage value but the garbage value is not in the option so no output is the correct answer in question number 8 it says that what will be printed after execution of the following code so this is the array of size 10 okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So it contains only 5 elements that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the remaining elements will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So it says that print a percentage D ARR5. So that is this is ARR1, ARR0. Sorry. This is ARR. 1 and goes on so arr5 will be this is okay so 0 will be printed in the output okay so option b is correct in question number 9 it says that what is the output of the following c code inti int arr3 so the array size is 3 okay so it only contains one element so this is one and the remaining element will be 0 and 0 okay so it uh, says that for i equal to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus print f percentage d arr i so the output will be 1 0 0 this uh, because this code indicates uh, to print the element of the array so the uh, element of the array is 1 0 0 so option c is correct in question number 10 it says that what will be the output when the following code is executed so the size of the array is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 size of uh, switch uh, size of a case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 printf i and iit kgp break okay so the size of a the size of the array will be 6 into if we uh, con consider that in integer take uh, 2 bytes of memory then the size of the array will be 6 into 2 is equal to 12. So there is no value of 12 in the case. So IIT KGB will not print. So IIT Madras will be print because this switch case will not execute. So option B is correct. If you like my videos then please subscribe this channel. Thank you. Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got